And then they all lean back, and then you lean back with them, sort of do what they're doing. We have 16 students in the program, and everything we do is all to prepare them for a career. That's very important to me, and that's the reason we have chosen these two operas. I was very fortunate to be able to work with Stravinsky at Santa Fe Opera, and also in Boston. He would call me aside and tell me things that he liked about what I did and where I should do something different. That was very exciting. It was such a rare opportunity for a very young singer. In Rossignol, I did have a, a fun role. It's an ensemble piece and was great fun to be a part I remember of. you, you were, you were the cook. That was the and, cook. And you had fruit salad on your head. That's right, that's right. The most interesting thing to me now is that his music is so accepted and revered. It was a new way of looking at opera. It was, cons was considered so modern. Yes. But it, now it's... It's just part of the regular... Normal repertoire. Yeah. I met Menotti when I was 22 years old. I was accepted by him to sing the role of Donato in his opera, Maria Golovin. Now, he was a fascinating man. He was very well educated, impossibly charming. And if he had not been a composer, he would have been a great actor. The Rossignol does illustrate that music, in a sense, has its curative powers. And what you learn out of Old Maiden the Thief, I'll let you decide for yourself. Maybe it's just don't let a stranger into your house. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>